Woe is me. Ah. So, the Avora hasn't featured in very many videos recently, and a lot of you have been asking what's going on with it. Well, the good news is that the seats are being fixed and sorted. I'm going to be having my replacement Cobra seats installed in the first week of March, basically, when I return from Florida. Now, I was out with the car yesterday giving it a good polish because, as you know, the roof of the car has been covered in scratches and marks and things since basically day one. I spent my day with Valley Pro learning how to use a polisher, so I thought, right, I'm going to put this uh, knowledge to good use and get these scratches out of the roof of the car once and for all because it bugs the life out of me. Whenever the sun comes out, you can see all these nasty swell marks. So I got out there, polished the roof down, spent a good hour on it, got it looking absolutely lovely, really proud of myself i was filming it and everything and then i noticed that there was a defect in the paint uh, there's a small sort of two three mil wide blemish where obviously some dirt had got in the paint when the car was painted you know it got onto the the not the metal the, the composite roof and um, basically what it does is it's formed a little little bowl or a little dip in the paint so basically whenever there's a reflection on it now that there's no scratch marks there you can see it plain as day because it catches the light in a totally different way to the rest of the roof so the car is now having more remedial paintwork done the whole roof is going to be repainted hopefully correctly and that got me thinking that you know i have had quite a few issues with this car and there's a big question which is do i regret buying it and a few people have asked me that uh, including those on on the lotus forum no no I, I really really don't i was in a position a few months ago where i did have the opportunity to basically get rid of the car completely and I thought long and hard, if, if I gave the car back, if I gave the car back and if, let's say, hypothetically, I got you know every penny back, what what would I go out there and, and buy? And I, I very quickly went through the list of cars that I looked at when I eventually chose the Evora. And <laughs> same situation. I just couldn't think of another car that I would rather have. It is brilliant. We have had a lot of issues, but we have sorted nearly all of them. It is a great shame that some of them have taken a lot longer and a lot more effort to fix than they should have done. But I would love to say that's an exclusively Lotus thing. It genuinely isn't. I mean, everyone knows. You go on the internet, you will find forums, owners forums, full of people that are having problems with cars from manufacturers that are hundreds of times thousands of times larger than lotus so you know much as i might like to blame them yeah I, I would i wish it was better but you know there are plenty of lotus owners out there who have previously had things like jaguars mercedes all that kind of stuff and not really had much of a better experience so and when the lotus is working when it's doing its thing it is just sensational and now with the upgrades that i've made to it you know with the stereo and uh, with the seats and you know, i've got some more plans for it as well you know it's really becoming a, a, a very personal car to me and i i absolutely love it and i do intend to keep it for a while yet so uh, do i regret buying it no would i still recommend people buy one yeah yeah absolutely they are absolutely brilliant you know uh, the lotus guys will remind you that you can have just as many problems with cars from other brands and that is absolutely true but what you can't get from other brands is the the feel and just the the excitement that you get from driving one of these especially now things like you know the prices of old ferraris have, have gone through the roof and really something like a ferrari or a mclaren is genuinely i think where you have to go to get a car that is better than this so uh no i still absolutely love my car um i'm very happy that i have it so yeah, there's the answer to that question. <laughs>